Hi. Hello. I'm going to go shut that. Hello. So, my name is Ronan. I'm going to be your coach today. Uh, as you probably could tell, my main sport is uh, parkour and free running. Uh, and I'm just going to be here to do some uh, some exercise with you today. So it's going to only be about 25, 30 minutes that we're going to be doing stuff. Um, but hope you can uh, can enjoy. Um, today we're going to be doing some just movement stuff, getting your bodies active. Uh, we're going to be playing some games, uh, some Simon Says, some little things on the floor. It's going to be great. Uh, so make sure you've got a nice wide area uh, that you can definitely stretch your arms out. Like for me, I'm in the living room. I can get up, I can move. Get my hands out straight, I can touch the floor, stuff like that. If you've got couches in the way, don't worry about it. But uh, we're gonna get started. So of course, I've got my space. Ignore the clothes. I definitely do lots of stuff. So just make sure you get a nice flat area in the middle of your uh, your living room or your bedroom or wherever it is that you're gonna be doing this. Uh, make sure you've got plenty of space that you can uh, jump around, don't touch the uh, that you're not touching the ceiling, and that you can spin around in a circle and not hit anything. For today's session, you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need some clothing pieces that are roughly black or a singular colour. They could all be white, they could all be blue, something like that. Um, <clears throat> make sure they're all one colour. I've got four black socks and a black glove. So fair enough. And then you need two other uh, small objects. They should be small, uh, soft, not easy to trip over, um, they can be a ball, they can be a ball and, oh, actually, and a green ball. So they just need to be small, soft, make sure that, uh, that you're not going to easily uh, fall over them. Um, I've got the ball, uh, these little balls, but if you've got something else that, uh, that works as well, um, such as like uh, small uh, cubes or something like that, that you can easily pick up um, and you're not going to easily uh, fall over. Right, to start off guys, all we're going to do is we're going to do some basic jumping jacks. So, what I want you to do is I want you to do your normal jumping jack, so that's arms out, out above your head, and then legs jumping out to the side, and then on the way back in, you're lowering your arms again, and you're bringing your legs back into the centre. Like so, we're going to do about 10 of them, and then we're going to take a little rest for 5 seconds, okay? So let's, let's get, uh, get it going. So, 1, 2... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> and then after that, we're going to do the exact same thing again, but instead of your arms go up, coming up from the side of your body, I want them coming out from the front and coming above your head again, and then lowering from the front to your sides when you bring your legs back together. We'll have a, have a practice of that and then we'll go through it. So this is what it should look like. So arms come out in front, above your head. One, just like that. So arms up in front and above the head as you bring your legs out. So we'll try 10 of them. So on you just go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And remember guys, once we've done that, you want to always keep hydrated. So make sure you get a bottle of water, like this one, and just have a quick drink, um, and then we'll get back into doing some more stuff. But we want to make sure that we're getting some heart rate up and we're feeling a little bit hot and sweaty. So we're going to try that again. We're going to do the normal jumping jacks, and then we're going to do the front jumping jacks. One more time, 10 of each, okay? So normal jumping jacks, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then a five second rest, guys. And then we're going to get into the other jumping jacks, the ones that are going forward. So with me, three, two, one. Forward jumping jacks. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice ones, guys. 
Uh, make sure you take a little rest for a couple of seconds, get a drink of water and then we'll be on the next part. Okay, so we've now done the jumping jacks. Let's move on with the warm up. So we're gonna do a little bit of Simon Says. So game's very simple. If I say Simon Says and then to do an action, you copy the action. So for example, if I said Simon Says hop on one leg, I'm gonna bring one leg up and I'm gonna hop. But if I was to just say stop hopping, you keep on hopping because I didn't say Simon Says. So for example, if I said Simon Says hop on one leg, I'm hopping. And then I say Simon Says hop on the other leg. I hop on the other leg because I said Simon Says. You understand? If you don't quite, go back in the video and listen to the explanation again. Okay, let's get started. Simon Says spin your arms. Simon says, opposite way. Simon says, cross your arms. And stop. Did anyone stop? If you did, you weren't meant to because I didn't say Simon says. So if we were playing it as an actual game, you would then be out. But don't worry, if you, did, if you did stop, that's okay. If you didn't stop, well done to you. So we're going to start again, so everyone just stand normally. And Simon says, jump up and down. Simon says, stand on one foot. Simon says, stand on the other foot. Now Simon says, hey, Simon says, spin around whilst hopping. And Simon says, stop. Jump on one foot. Oh, did anyone, did anyone do it? Remember guys, it's only if Simon says you have to do the action, okay? This is the final round. Let's see if you can keep up, okay? Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says, touch your ears. One finger on the nose. Did anyone do it? No? Okay, let's keep going. Simon says, touch your eyebrows. Simon says, touch your hips. Simon says, touch your toes. Simon says, hop on one foot. Simon says, jump. Did anyone do it? No? Oh, jeez, you guys are getting good at this. Okay, Simon says, spin around. Simon says, stop. Anyone dizzy? I'm a little bit dizzy. Simon says, jog on the spot. Simon says, jump up and down. Simon says, stop. And touch your ears, touch your nose, touch your mouth, touch your eyebrows. Oh, was anyone doing it? No, okay, well, not bad. Well done, guys. Okay, that's what's done, Simon says. We're gonna move on to the next bit. Hey guys, so this is the part where you're going to need your black socks and black glove um, and your other objects. So all you're going to do is you're going to lay them out on the floor exactly how I do it. So let's see how I do it. Okay guys, so as you can see I've set up four corners. What, uh, using the socks and my glove is right in the center of the square. You want to make your square around about two meters each way. Well, not each way, about a meter up and a meter to the side, making the two meters uh, diagonally, which is from this corner to that corner. Um, if you don't have that much space, that's okay. Just make it as big as you can. Obviously, I don't have the most space either, uh, so I've made it as big as I can. Um, and you want to put put your two objects, one in the center and one in the corner. And we're gonna work. Th uh, we're gonna go through how we play this game. Okay, guys. So we've got our square now, and we're gonna go through how to play the game. So as you can see, there's one green ball on the top. There's a yellow ball in this bottom corner. And what I want to do is I'm going to start from the middle. So that's here. And all I want to do 
is I want to pick up this green ball and I want to move it to one of the other corners. So I got to get up for that, got to be on my feet and I'm going to move it to that corner. I'm going to come back to the centre and I'm going to pick up the yellow ball. I'm going to move it, I can move it to the centre or I can move it to any of the other corners so long as it's not the same one it was already on. So I'm going to move it to the other corner, back to the centre, pick up the green ball and I put it in another corner. Do we all understand? Now what you want to do is you can do this standing up. I'm, I'm really low down to the ground because of where my camera's sitting. But you can be standing up and I want you to move around and I want to see how many times you can move it around in a minute. I'm going to do the same. So you guys get a practice in the now and then when I come back, we're going to have a competition to see who can do it, better, do it faster. The coach or you guys at home. Let's try it. Okay guys, so... Now what we're going to do is we're going to have a competition. I hope you guys got in some practice. Um, so what we're going to do is it's now me versus you guys at home. I've got my laptop here which I'm going to set a one minute timer for. But there should be a one minute timer somewhere down below. Or up the top. Somewhere. Counting down. And then there'll be a nice sound effect saying when to stop. Okay? So, whenever we're ready. Let's get, get into the ready position. We're on the floor. Are we ready? Okay, three, two, one, go. Right, move it to the center, down here, and then here. Oh no, the ball's running away. Ten seconds guys, ten seconds, keep going. And stop there guys. So my score will be down here in this area. How many did you guys get? I'd love to know. Comment down below. See uh, I'll have a look and I'll see how many you've got. Just remember guys, in the middle of the video, if you need, just pause the video, take a wee break, get a drink of water, and then come back to the video afterwards, once you're all ready to continue, okay? But don't be resting too long, no more than 30 seconds, okay? If you need a minute, I might allow it, just might. But, let's move on to the next part if you're all ready. Okay guys, so this next part is the same game, but it's going to have a slightly different rule to it. So before, you could pick up a ball, run to the next bit, put it down. This time, what I want us to do, is a, um, when, whenever we're moving, you have to be on your hands and feet. So if I pick up the ball, to move, I have to move with my hands and feet. And then I have to come back to the centre, with my hands and feet, onto the next part. Hands and feet, back to the centre, you get the idea, if not, then here's another demonstration, so, got the ball, I move to another point, I come back to the centre, my hands and my feet, and then to another point, grab the ball, back to the centre, you want to move around like you're a monkey, so let's pretend that it's like that, okay? So you guys have a little bit of time practicing that, have a minute or two to practice, then come back and we're going to try you versus me again. Let's do this. Okay guys, so I'm glad that you have come back, you are ready to play again. I've got my stopwatch on my, on my laptop again, I'm ready to play. So, are we ready? You all had a practice? I've got a timer in the bottom corner or wherever it was the last time and I'm ready to go again. Are you guys? Okay? Let's do it. Remember, hands and feet only. That's the rule. Three, two, one, 
Go! Oh, my balls on the way. Got those in arms. Don't go around. I don't think I've used this one. Center. Come on guys, 30 seconds are up. Let's keep going. All the way to a minute. Is it getting hard yet? That's it, that's what it's supposed to be like. Keep going, almost done, 10 more seconds. Last one guys, keep going, keep going. And stop there, that's a minute. Well done that one, for that one guys, you've done amazing. I'd like to know your scores for that one as well, so if you comment them down below as well, I'll have a look at them. But make sure that you tell me if it was for the normal challenge or for the harder one. The one we just did was the harder challenge. So, of course, if you want, you can try again, you can try and compete against me and get loads of score, much higher than me, my ones. So here's my first score, and then here is my second score for the harder one. I want to see if you guys got better than me, but that's that for the uh, for now. Let's uh, move on to the last part. So now it's time to tidy up from that activity, so make sure you pick up all your socks and all your balls and whatever it is that you used for the game, and uh, it's time to put it all away. Are you back? You back from putting it all the way? Great, make sure that you have had a drink of water before we do this next bit and um, make sure that um, everything's tidy away and you have a nice clear space as well and if you have like a mat like uh, like this if you've got a, a yoga mat you might not if you don't that's okay uh, a blanket or your bed covers or something like that will work just the same Okay, so now all I want us to do is get the mat or your bed covers or whatever it is that you've got in and I want you to roll it out on the floor, like so. So you've got nice, it's somewhere nice and comfy to sit. If you, if you want, you can even use a pillow or something that's soft so that you're not getting sore on the, the floor because the floor can be quite hard. So let's sit on the, on the blanket or whatever it is that you've got and we're going to quickly just do some cool down stuff. Uh, so because we've worked hard. Uh, and then it's time to just bring the body down, control the breathing, and we can get back to being normal and not all sweaty and disgusting. So, first thing we're going to do is we're just going to lie on the mat. I want you to just for 10 seconds, just lie back and think about what we've done today. We were moving about, we were, uh, we were jumping about with Simon Says and we are doing some star jumps. What kind of star jumps did we do? If you can remember, post a comment down below. If not, don't worry, I'll explain it all at the end. But just for 10 seconds, lie back and think about what we've done. Okay, so next, all I want us to do is I want us to bring our legs in. Like so, give them a big hug. Really, really tight hug. As hard as you can. Really give your legs a good hug. Because they need it, you've worked them hard, they need a nice hug. And then relax, put your legs out in front. They've had a nice hug, they're all tired now. They wanna relax. Next up, I want you to bring one leg in and put it just above your knee. And then all I want you to do is just lean forward and try and touch your shin. If you can touch your shin, maybe try and get a little bit further. See how far you can touch without it being sore. We don't want anything to be sore. We just want to feel a little bit of a, of a stretch of the back of your leg. So see how far you can stretch. If you can if you can do like me and touch your toes, perfect, that's great. But if you can't, don't worry, that's okay. You can just try and touch your, your ankle, side of your foot, just your shin, anything you can feel. If you're one of the super stretchy folk that can get all the way to the back of their foot, try bringing the other arm over and touch your toes with your other arm and hand as well. 
and we want to hold that for about five seconds, okay? So let's count with me. Unless you've already been doing it, but let's do it. So holding it for one, two, three. Remember, don't tense your muscles, you want everything to be relaxed. Four, five. Well done. And then just do the exact same thing on the other side. You want to just go down as far as you can. Remember, don't tense anything, just let your body relax. Imagine you're not using any muscles, you're just leaning forward. So grab your foot or your shin and just lean forward. Don't want pain, okay? For five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant, you can let go of that now. I've done that the opposite way this time. And then finally, of course, well not finally, we're almost done though. I want you to bring your feet together so that you're sitting like this. And you've got two options. You can try and bring your chest to your feet like this. Or you can try and get your knees to the ground. I'm not very good at it, so I try and push my elbows into my knees. But if that hurts, don't do that. You just want a nice stretch on the inside of your leg. So you try and push down. If you get a nice wee stretch, hold that for five seconds as well. Or if you do it the other way and you bring your chest forward, you want to feel the same stretch, hold that for five seconds, okay? I can feel it now, so let's go five, four, three, two, one. And you can let that go. All right, and then finally, we want to lie forwards on the mat. You want to bring one hand, one arm, and put it underneath your other arm so that you're almost like you're sleeping so you want to rest your head on this arm and you want to look like you're sleeping and we'll, hold, we'll do that for five seconds okay so five four three two one there we are and then of course you've got you've got two arms you have to do it on both so again other hand Slip it underneath and then rest your head for five, four, three, two, one. Very good, guys. Well done. Well, that was the session today, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. <clears throat> I won't be here next week. Next week. It's going to be a different coach called Megan. She might do some of the same stuff. She might do some other things. You never know. I'll be back and I'll see you guys in a few weeks later. You're going to have Megan next week though. But I hope we all enjoyed. What did we learn in today? Or what did we do? If you can't remember, that's okay. I'm about to go over it now. But if you can, quickly put a comment down below. See if you can remember. But what we did do is we've done some jumping jacks. We've done the side and the front. We also done some Simon Says, and remembering that it's only if you say Simon Says that you have to actually do the action. If you don't, you don't do it. We then also done the game with the four spots on the ground and the middle one, and you were to move the balls from each side of the square or to the centre, using only your hands or feet, or you were able to use your feet as well. And then right at the end, we've done some nice stretching off to make sure that your muscles don't ache in the morning. So... I'll see you guys in a few weeks. Enjoy the rest of your week.